The Marvelous Mean is a game for middle grade learners. In this game, you'll create line plots or other visual statistical representations for a given number of data points with a predetermined mean. Here are the materials that are necessary for this game. Before playing, think about the following scenario. Suppose there are seven houses on a street. The average number of outside doors on each house is three. What are some statistical ways to visually represent this scenario? Pause the video to think about this. Are there any other ways you can represent seven houses with an average number of three outside doors? Look at the examples provided for ideas. To set up the game, create two piles from one deck of cards that satisfies the guidelines on the screen. Then form teams of two players each. The player with the longest hair is the first leader. As a leader, you will flip a card from the pile of red cards. This card represents the number of data points for this round. Then flip the top black card. The number represents the mean for this round. Lastly, read the scenario game card aloud, including the numbers that fill in the blanks. Each team has eight minutes to create several unique statistical representations for which the number of data points, mean, and scenario is correct. For example, here students are working on a scenario where there are eight players in a group, the average shoe size is three. Once time is up, teams compare the representations. Make sure your representation is correct for the given numbers in this round. If two or more teams have the same representation, including the same data points, cross it out. For each unique representation your team creates, your team earns one point. For example, these two pictures show different representations for the scenario provided. One team shows each player having the same shoe size of three, while the other representation shows each player having different shoe sizes. Each of these teams would earn one point for their unique representations. For each round, rotate leaders to select a scenario, mean, and number of data points. After four rounds, the team with the most points wins the game. Think about the following questions as you play after the game. What did you think about when making each representation? How did you know you were reaching the target mean? There are a couple of variations for this game. One variation is for players to pick a scenario game card, gather data from friends or family, then use representations to find the mean. Another variation has players make their own scenario cards, then add them to the deck. Try them out as you play. Here are some helpful hints for this game. Think about how the distribution of data points balance around the target mean. Pause the video to study the two different representations. Click on the instructions link on the Regional Math and Science Center website to read the game rules or just rewatch this video, pausing as needed. Thanks for playing.